okay now we are going to see the next part of our operating cycle is creditors turnover ratio how to calculate that the formula we have creditors turnover ratio and credit purchase okay so i will just copy this formula here i have already copied here okay so this is the formula i have okay now first we need to understand what is the formula saying annual credit purchase so i need purchase data and i need creditors because i have to calculate the creditors turnover correct i need uh, this particular data also because i have to calculate the creditors okay so now we will see that okay so first we will talk about annual credit purchase how to find this data okay so as i said three years data we have to see so we are going to see that data in our balance sheet so to find the annual credit purchase you have to check a material consumed in pnl okay profit then loss account you have to see okay in that profit and loss account you have to see the cost of material consumed so first i will see the balance sheet of 2019-20 so this is 20 okay and here is a balance sheet and below that we have a pnl pnl cost of material consumed this i have to see okay to see the purchase to see the purchase i have to see the cost of material consumed okay so you have to go in detail to see the purchase amounts and all okay so just see the 23 number note in detail okay that you have to see in detail so i have already found a page number for that uh, material consume this material consume so i will go on 100 page number yeah here it is in front of the material consume it is it is given already purchases correct it is already given it is already given so i am taking here and that in working note purchases is given here see in working note you have to go in detail huh? you have to go on that page number you have to go on that page number you have to see the what is a purchase here is purchase how much 26710.43 okay same number i am copying here okay same number i am copying here you have to go on the particular working note okay you have to go on particular working note number okay same way if you see for 2019 means it is a last year's purchase it is the last year purchase correct so i will copy the same it is showing the last year purchase then then everybody is with me now i will see the next year's balance sheet this is so here I will see how much it is given in PNL cost of material consumed note number 24. Okay, I will just copy this and I will just search here so you are able to understand how to search it. Then I got page number 94 and here I am able to get the data of purchases. Okay, I need fewer purchase. I need fewer purchase that how much is the purchase done in that year. What? That data I need. So I am writing now okay done page number for the reference i will write here okay you also write because every time searching it becomes difficult understood so we got now the purchase also remember you have to go on working note in detail to see the purchases okay we don't need to average if you see if you see the same the number is given 23 9 Zero ninety four. Okay. See the what is price amount I am writing. I am not writing the same what is coming in PNL. I am writing only the purchases because that amount includes total cost of material sold. Correct. It can include include inventory opening. Okay. Purchase and from that minus is closing stock. I don't want that data. I want only pure purchase. So that's why we have to go in detail with the 
cost stock material consume working note number you have to see in that working note you have to go and see the what is purchase number is given and that purchase number we are taking here okay be careful here okay that's why i am telling you that's why i am showing you the same okay be careful you how to see i will repeat it here process again this is given in a stand alone material consume i have to go on working note specific 24 so i know now the page number is 80 94 so i am going directly on 94 c in 94 if i come you will see here i need only purchase data i need only this data okay i don't need this whole amount this whole amount is given in a balance sheet oh, sorry in PL. i don't want this data i want this data purchase understood so the same amount it gives you 25 and 21 same amount is here 25 and 21 see okay so don't get confused so now the first parameter of annual credit purchase i got this is annual credit purchase and this is the data i have received for annual credit purchase then follow my yellow the color so you are able to understand what parameter is found done now the average credit period this i have to search Right. So this I am now finding here average credit people. So average means what? Two years. Correct. Right. So I am writing here now the all years data here. So I, this is 2016 and 17. So yeah. then so what I have to do now? Last year's creditors and this year's creditors. Means I need opening and closing of that year. Okay, but opening, I am not able to get. So, I am closing every balance sheet have. So, last year's closing, this year's opening. So, in this way, you will see the data is getting repeated. How? Just see. Here, we have to see the balance sheet. We have to see the balance sheet. In a balance sheet, all the data is given. First, we will go with the 1920-78 page number balance sheet. This is the balance sheet in front of you. Here is your trade payables. See, 17B. Correct? 17B. It is total is given. Seventeen B. Here you will see the trade payables. So here I am taking the total of it. It is given na? 17B. It is total is given here. So I am taking this. I am taking this amount. Okay. 793.38 this i'm taking because this is the club of board okay this is the club of board so i'm taking this 98 sorry 983.38 the same i'm taking here but for uh, yeah but here i have to make a plus of this both huh? i have to take both of this i have to take a both of this so 17b if you want you want uh, can go on the detail of page number it is i have already found 157 page number yeah. so here i have a table c total table total table given is this one so i am taking this tables understood wrong balance sheet it is given so i can make total of it directly over there and then i can take that will also be good if you go on the total note detailing note and then finding and then writing that will also good okay so you have to take it from the working note that will better okay so this is working note the data i am taking 986.22 that same i'm pressing here okay now if you see this is the last year's data 672.91 so i am taking that data as a opening so this is the opening of this year uh, this year so it is also opening of this year correct if you see what connected okay this is closing of this year it becomes opening of this year then trade tables is clear now sometimes what happened in this trade tables, you will see the other table, 
other tables getting generated and that is a huge amount what created for some organizations so that data i will uh, request all of you please ignore if it is a high amount because otherwise what will happen your operating cycle will come huge and uh, uh, there is nothing is given note like if you see what is covered it is not also mentioned if it is covered to so just read that information what is given and on the basis of that you decide that trade table you have to consider in it or not okay that you have to think logically here nothing is mentioned just micro uh, means whatever is given is micro and small scale enterprises to them they have sold and some trade tables are again other than that means means they are not a micro or small enterprises but they are there uh suppliers okay so now i will show the same data of 2018 19 to get the next year's two years data is remaining now that we see the first i have to go on balance sheet 68 page number this is 68 in front of you and if you see trade table it is in 18b 18b so what you can do you can make a total of it and directly take that you also do okay otherwise you can go on that particular page and you can see so i have already identified it is 93 so now i will go on 93 page number yeah here it is given total so i am writing this 827.06 here okay so this is the this year's data so definitely this year's data is going to match with this year's data correct this is closing so this is the opening for this year you know? last year last year okay now i need 17 18 data so 17 18 data for that i have to come on the balance sheet of 17 18 and now this is the balance sheet in front of you and here is a trade table is a trade table okay so you have to see the balance sheet carefully 31st of march 2017 just so i will go on the working note and i will just see okay what is given page number i have already added by 89 so i will go on 89 page number so here is 89 and uh, yeah the amount is here see nothing is there so i will take directly this that 431.39 so i am taking the same here done then then I got uh, opening and closing. This this year's creditors and the last year's creditor. So this is opening and this is closing. Remember, huh? Remember, I am repeating this again. This is a opening. This is opening. Starting column is opening. Talking about opening. Okay. And the last this year's this year means what? That year is going to close now. This 1920 closed on 31st of March 20. On that day, how much is the creditor? It is closing. It is closing. Remember, huh? this concept is important for both debtors and creditor. Okay, done. Closing and opening found. Now, what you have to do? What you have to do? You have to make average. What you have to do? This 600 and Seventy-two point ninety-one plus nine hundred and eighty-six point twenty-two. Okay, divided by divided by two divided by two. Understood? So you get this amount. I will do in front of you in Excel divided so plus this divided by two. Then. Right? So in this way, I will apply the formula for three years. So now I got the average creditors. Now I got a average creditor. See to my green color, huh? this green color. Now I got the right? So now we have done calculations of average. Now we have done the material consumption. Both have done. Okay. Now what? we have to do we have to use the formula and just put up the values into the formula the here is a formula in front of you three years later so what i am doing now equal to my this yellow all right so i am just stretching it okay now just remember so here is equal to i got this green strip correct average voter so the same i'm calculating here then so it is done this part is done Okay, now 
what is the next turnover ratio calculations divide division i have to do so now i am doing division this divided by this so i am getting this 22.21 sorry 22.91 21.60 25.90 so it is 23 times i can say in a year this credit turnover ratio will get rotated same way for 2019-18 22 times this rotation of credit cycle will get rotated okay so this is just times data not days so what to do with the data means uh, what how to calculate that number of days period so here is a formula average payment period number of years sorry number of days in years divided by credit ratio this is 365 days okay and divided by number of times so this is the data correct right? So here I am taking the same data from this place and just to check. Data will be in front of you, so you are able to understand. Okay. Then, so now here 365 divided by, so I got this data. Okay. So I can say this is 15.93 means what? 16 days only average because the days are there. So it is 16.90, days, 14.92, it is 14 days. Okay. So now we have calculated the last parameter of our operating cycle is average payment period for creditors. Okay. So we have done with now just now inventory turnover ratio. Okay. We have done debtors collection period okay that also we have done and now just now we have calculated the creditors also just now we have calculated the creditors also okay so all three have done all three have done now we have to calculate the operating cycle so for calculating operating cycle it's very easy the formula is in front of you this is operating cycle formula so i will just i have made here the data from the different sheets i have just copy pasted 55 53 59 same you can see 55 53 59 just to make it easy that's why i have just the data here ready with me here okay so now what is the formula net operating cycle inventory plus debtors minus creditor WIP we don't have finish we don't have so we are converting only inventory so for inventory what we have calculated stock conversion ratio stock conversion period for debtors what we have calculated average collection period for creditors what we have calculated average payment period so for the year 2019-20 for the year 1920 the stock period was 35 just follow the numbers just follow the numbers okay so you are able to understand see this is the 55 this is the 55 and the 55 i'm writing here okay then uh, average collection period average collection period 35 35 just follow my lines huh? then average payment period average pay pay period it is 16 days 16 days make a plus of it two parameter and minus out of it this creditors okay so i will in front of you i will do the same 55 plus 34 plus 90 16 okay understood what you have to do 55 plus 34 plus 16 so sorry minus 16 not plus minus 16 so 73 days is the operating cycle of 2019-20 then understood now same way we will do for the next year now same way we will do for the next year Okay, next year is 19, 2019, 18, 19, correct? So now I will do the same for you on the next year. 
this follow the line okay for 2019-20 how much it is given 53 for a collection sorry conversion period 33 for creditors and creditors is 70 okay just same plus and minus okay so i am doing here in front of your group 53 plus 33 minus 70 so it becomes 89 days 89 days okay so 80 sorry 69 days is a period 69 days is a period then now we'll go for the next period 17 same way okay we are doing the same okay we are going to do the same again just follow the year it is 1718 1780 59 27 40 then plus then minus okay in this year to do so i will also do with you here here is uh, my 59 plus 27 minus 40 so total is 72 days okay the total becomes 72 days so now we have calculated the three years data okay so now you will see on the basis of three parameters inventory turnover ratio data's turnover ratio creditors turnover ratio now we are calculated the operating cycle also now what is our observation that you have to write so here first observation is what inventory first observation of ours is what inventory holding period is higher in a year 2018 up to 59 days now decrease to 55 days if you want you can see it okay 59 to 55 why can you why whether it is happened or not just to check see 55 was a year now it was 59 correct means in year 2017 18 if you want you can write in uh, more clear it is 17 18 was 59 days and now it decrease to 55 days in a year if you want here you can write the year in year 2019 2020 okay but still company need to have a proper inventory management to reduce the blockage of money in stock okay here the company need to analyze operation basis of stock wise holding period like raw material stock wip stock and finished good stock because when we are creating this uh, we don't have na, this data we don't have so that's why uh, we have mentioned that comment observations then our debtors debtors collection period we have calculated so debtors if you see it was 34 33 and 27 so in 2017 18 it was very less now it is increased one so same i'm writing here if you see debtors collection period of the company on an average is increased in year 2000 19 2020 and 1918 up to 34 days if possible company should try to decrease this collection period by three to four days on an average because we are not going customer wise we are going on an average so we are writing very specific that two three to four days if they are able to manage that will be great for them okay now the last parameter the creditors payment period what is we observe if you see it was 14 days 17 now 16 so it was now slowly increased from 60 14 to 16 on 17 days so here i'm writing the same comment the creditors payment period of the company on an average increased from 14 days to 16 slash 17 days in a year 2000 19 2020 it indicates that company able to get more credit because this is more important if they create more credit they are able to manage their operating cycle that's why if they get more it will be great so which is a good sign it is a good sign that as their debtors period increasing parallelly their credit period is also 
in credit form supply. So it is there, it is showing balance. They have balanced their debtors as well as the creditor. So same I have mentioned here. If we compare the operating cycle parameters, it indicates that Gloucester Limited has maintained proper balance in proper balance in uh, debtors and creditors. Inventory management of cluster India is acceptable. Means whatever they are managing this operating 30, 73 days, 69 days or 72 days, it is acceptable because they have managed it properly. This particular inventory is 55, 53 and 59 days. It is acceptable and overall operating cycle is also good for this organization. Understood? I hope you all are able to calculate the operating cycle and this observation for each and every company will change. Huh? It is not like that it will come same. You have to use your brain. That's why I have mentioned here what and how. Okay. You have to use your brain when you are writing this. Whether it is good or not good. What they can do. That solution you can give here. Okay. Here I felt that as I don't know WIP raw material and finished goods. So I cannot comment on it directly what they can do. Oh yeah. But if it is coming huge. So you can say that they can go for uh, just in time inventory kind of a technique. Or they can go with the ABC analysis that you can write here. Okay. As a comment. In debtors also you can uh, comment the same that they, could use, they should use good debtors management. Creditors they should increase their goodwill. They should try to find more good type of supplier who will give them a good credit period so they are able to manage operating cycle that comment you can add on as per your company okay it is not like that this is a final one this is a one company every company from the same industry may have a different operating cycle sometimes uh, this operating cycle also comes negative this here you will see the operating cycle all are coming positive sometimes what happens this period is on higher side suppose it becomes 100 suppose it becomes 93 so you see it is coming negative operating cycle I know so negative operating cycle shows what it that company is not having proper management of this company is not having proper management of what what collection or the creditors then it is showing that company is getting more credit period from uh, their particular supplier and it is a good sign it is good sign that they are able to manage the show but definitely if the my debtors are suppose 90 in that case my operating cycle on higher side so it is also not good they also not good because my operating cycle is increasing now my money is coming late so it is also not good okay so these all are the things that you have to write in a comment you will be come across with a negative also sometimes a collection period is coming on higher inventory is coming on higher side or a creditors period is coming on side, higher side creditor period is coming on higher side it is good sign it is a good sign it shows that they are getting good average credit period from the supplier side it is good for them to manage the cash okay but if they are giving more uh, credit to their supplier it is not good sign okay so in this way you have to write the interpretation for this cluster india all operations all three operating cycles are coming positive so it is a good sign okay so i hope uh, you all are able to do it okay so best luck thank you